so good morning student and good morning to you all once again today as you know that we are covering here css and which is the acronym for cascading style sheets so generally it is a style sheet and in the cascading style sheet which help us to format a page and same we use notepad to create both kind of and a style sheet is a file which contain the formatting guideline that define overall look of a document जो हमारी वेब पेज का डॉक्यूमेंट है वो कैसा अपीयर होगा उसकी जो फॉर्मेटिंग है मीन्स हेयर यू कैन चेंज द प्री डिफाइंड अपीयरेंस ऑफ द टैक्स सो द टर्म कैस्केडिंग इन द कैस्केडिंग स्टाइल शीट रेफर्स टू द स्पेसिफिक वे और द मैनर इन विच द वेब ब्राउजर डिटरमाइन विच स्टाइल टू अप्लाई टू अ स्पेसिफिक पार्ट ऑफ द पेज और वेब पेज so this method is called cascade and when combined with the style sheet the resultant name is cascading style sheet in the cascading the item having higher priority effect other priority other properties with lower pro priorities with the value cascading down like a waterfall so iske benefit kya hai the benefits of css is the page download faster sometimes by as 50% lesser time consumed to download the page and developers have to type less code and the web pages are shorter and neater the look of a site is kept consistent throughout all the pages that work of the same style sheet updating the design generally by changing a single style sheet the entire look of the website or the web page can change now the style sheet how we apply the rule so i am writing here some this is previous example of the style sheet here you can understand these the code which i written earlier to explain you you can see here the full screen let us see so as we start the general or simple web page by using html so in first we write html tag then the title i am writing here the inline style there are three type of style sheets first inline internal and external so this and the priority first the browser seek or give the preference to the inline then internal and then at last external this is the sequence so here two parts are there one is selector and another is selector means here like we written here table this is the selector and then in the curly bracket we start generally that is the style and font family so these are the property and its value so the property like font family this is the property and its value is arial so font size and the property is small and here that is the font a property and its value arial color is another property and the value whatever we defined here like here we are writing th this is the tag and the style style word here we are writing and the style for this th tag which we call table header that is the color property is green so that is the property and green is value color the property and green is its value and th or the tag that is selector so here we can change the predefined look 
of the so each property and colon value is called declaration so property name and the declaration this is a single combination that is called declaration so this is declaration part and this is selector part so style define to the browser that we are working with style sheet so here you can see that the predefined so inline external and internal and external so the inline style sheet are embedded right within the html code they effect here the same time for which we are writing separate separate style you can see here style in color and red changed and then and the timetable property here we are not giving any style directly we have applied table tag and then the next table so here you can see the html title inline and the syntax is selector then style and property and its value property and its value in place of writing earlier we were writing here equal to sign so here we are using this colon sign this is colon and one property separated with the other property by using this semicolon sign beech mein semicolon sign laga hua hai jo ki font family ko aur font size ko dono property ko alag alag kar raha hai aur property ki value accordingly here we have defined arial this is the font face jo hum earlier font face use kar rahe the yahan par humne isko font family style ke case mein ye bhi change ho jayenge so inko to yaad karna hi hai aur learn karna hi hai tabhi ja kar ke humko aur jo inki priorities hain ya fir jo inka प्रेसिडेंस है दैट इज फर्स्ट इन लाइन देन इंटरनल एंड देन एक्सटर्नल तो इस तरह से इनका सीक्वेंस जो है यूज होता है लेट इज नाउ लर्न टू क्रिएट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टाइल सीट एंड द आउटपुट यू कैन सी हेयर जो इसका जो आउटपुट है वो किस तरह से बन रहा है हेयर यू कैन रन द फाइल विद द एस टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट एंड हेयर द नेम ऑफ द डेमो इन लाइन वन डेमो इन लाइन सी हेयर सी हेयर डेमो ऑडियो डेमो इन लाइन वन हेयर यू कैन ओपन इट विद द गूगल क्रोम और एनी ब्राउजर आई कैन ओपन दिस विद द इंटरनेट एक्सप्लोर ऑल्सो सो हेयर यू कैन सी जो हेडर हमने दिए थे देख लीजिए यहाँ पर किस तरह से उसको चेंज किया है हेयर यू कैन सी दीज आर द कोड एंड दिस इज द आउटपुट ओके here so html title inline style see here you can see the inline style here theek hai dikhai de raha hai inline style local or shared file so title yahan par ye aa gaya hai next style font family arial so here you can see the arial fonts are applied here so that is font family arial and font size small small fonts you can see here and then style color blue for first jo header humne diya tha writer's name you can see here that is blue color and then for the next is green so primary zener you can see here the green and then these are the row and th tr then aurora technical roy fiction again we are applying here for this row red color style color red style equal to in quotation mark color colon red this is the colon sign okay so iska jo output bana hai yahan par dekh rahe hain you knows and non fiction then another table where we didn't applied any style you can see here the difference is in front of you so here we changed the header and the row color data color so by this way you can do also so this is inline means particularly we are changing or writing the code locally here we have written the code so you can see in the full screen and so i am zooming this out so that you can easily see on the screen so this is the okay visible now 
so this is table style font family arial so this is the selector this is the property and this is the property value which is defined by a colon sign and in between we are separating this font family from this font size by using a semicolon so ye yaad rakhne wali cheeze hain now i am demonstrating you the second that is internal or embedded style sheet then let us create here so click on file and then click on new so i am writing or demonstrating here the embedded or the internal style sheet to wo the first is this one is inline means locally we are defining here table style font family and then table header style table header style and table row style and there in the second there is no any style so let us see here the next one so let us start by writing html and anywhere the code certainly stops so html let us save the first so click on file and then choose here save as and then select the appropriate folder already selected once again i am demonstrating you that how we can choose or select the appropriate folder in which we want to first select the disk drive want to save the file and then users and then this is my folder and this is my document folder and this is the separate folder which i have created to store the html document file then click on this and then write the name here and don't forget to give the extension that is dot html so i am saving the file here as the name you can see the html hypertext markup language see these are the pages already stored here so demo so i am because i am writing this file to demonstrate so i am writing here demo 2 for internal or embedded style internal here you can use shift plus hyphen that's called underscore and uh, avoid using spaces in between the file name demo 2 internal embedded style embedded styles styles dot html because so many students are uh, making mistake or taking mistake here what they think that the html we should write first that's wrong this html extension always extension assigned at the last at the end of the file name this is before this dot file name after this dot extension and click on save simply so now you can see here this html now change its color in blue so here the internal or embedded style sheet to be mentioned within the head tag or the head section so i'm writing here head and then title and here i am writing the title t i t l e title yes you can see the color will change that is internal to demonstrate internal or embedded embedded styles so that solve the purpose title closed okay a style type so here we need to define that what type of a style we are using here so style type what type of a style we are using here that is text oblique css so equal to text or css as we defined earlier in the before 
that is the file type type tag where we were defining audio and video html mp3 dot okay in the previous previous video so here selector we are using here internal embedded that is the table and we have used here within the head section so table c this is the selector and the property we define here within the curly bracket so ye jo curly bracket hai to curly bracket ke andar hum likhenge and the property is font family here you can see these are the properties here okay so this help you to write otherwise you need to type here font family then semicolon and then that is arial you can use the other fonts also in place of arial you can use here by editing and then select the encoding languages setting tools okay you can see the other fonts so font family Uh, let us define here uh, times new roman times new roman times new roman okay so you can see the font here where notepad start all programs as series and then directly you can go to the notepad or any other so microsoft office you can see from ms word also that uh, what font we have in installed so i am seeking the proper name from here ms word see these are the fonts and you can select any of these fonts suppose arial arial rounded these are and whatever the appearance you want to see in your web page you can select any of the you both the any of the font you can use there true type font that is necessary that the font type must be true type here you can copy the font from here and here in the notepad you can write here in place of this okay this is the font copied from ms word and from one property to another property the separation we do with the help of comma and earlier we were doing with the simple space so font size font size select and then put colon sign here that is small then separate this property and then color here you can select if you are using notepad plus plus then this will be very helpful to you that is blue b l u e here select this okay this will save again put a semicolon sign and then curly bracket again okay see now this style need to be closed here style okay so closed you can see that this is created this is internal or embedded style okay so this is the second thing now you can see now defined type don't forget to write this and then you can write here any style and any property can be written here so after style closed so head need to be closed here head okay now closed and then write the simple body tag and then in body tag wherever you we use this table tag then these properties to be applied to the table wherever means in the further or upcoming no need to give any style or formatting so i am starting here body and then table 
table okay so closed here then insert the row by using tr and then in the row the same can be copied by writing so okay let us type so again writing here table header ts tag and in header that is writer and then stop here table header then next row next column sorry from one row single and in next column it is th and then primary zero okay so table header to be closed here okay and then close the tr tag okay so one row created with two columns then again the data section so here we insert another row by using tr tag and then in tr can write here the table data in the first column that is and in this column and then next column table data is technical okay and then need to be closed here by using td and then close here tr so one row created in the another row you can copy simply from here copy this and right insert the next row and here you write select this and overwrite here by and here fiction okay so now again one row three row so here write another copy this and c t r t d and you lose u n u s and then non fiction non fiction okay then t r closed here and close the table no, table table tag okay so here <coughs> this table created style closed <coughs> had closed body and here one table created so another table you can copy the same code like here primary writer's name colon green by using this so copy this and paste here i have already written the code previously so now this table closed border equal to 2 and uh, so here html no need to write again so html closed here you can see html single time then head and save it by pressing ctrl s or by selecting file and then save already saved so this is deactivated now so let us see the output that what is the resultant output of these code so we will run by selecting the file from html document and demo2 that is demo2 internal embedded style sheet by clicking simply double so let us see this is the output okay so here you can see i am zooming out this so that you can see closely so here you can see now table writer name primary see here same same output okay same output you can see here the same output of the both the table 
if I remove this border from here because I have applied this border within so by pressing ctrl s you can see here because we are using here the table tag and for this table tag we have fixed the style or the formatting in the header section so both the output will be same refresh the page see same same font means no need to change every time comparatively here you can see the inline inlines output is coming inline the previous one you can see here if we open this demo one of inline so here you can see the output is separate <clears throat> here we need to define this is the separate output and this is the different thing for even the font here app Arial and here Times New Roman but in the inline here embedded these are the same you can see here because only now you can see the changes that if we change here internally font family book men old style if we choose another font only single time Arial black suppose I am choosing this aerial rounded board and copy from here and then apply this paste see and if we save this and then we refresh the page you can see now the fonts changed but same time for the both the table for both the table except this one times new roman if we want to change this then p tag locally can be changed locally means here paragraph and then writing the style sheet then the paragraph style like here write p and then margin top or bottom or whatsoever <coughs> so if we want to change here then we should use what that is inline how we use what is the syntax of inline see here style font family or arial so selector copy this and then we can apply here for the p okay see what will happen font family Arial font size is small and color put a semicolon in between color red okay don't forget to give the parentheses or double quote in between okay so let us save here and see the output another table follows color property not applied oh. See here the single parenthesis. Now that is closed. Let us save here. Dry writing. See now the color changed. So very minutely you can see this parenthesis style from here and ended here in between, and then one property separated by this colon. So style equal to this one, align equal to center right here then a l i g for 
on the style margin top bottom four and these are the style which need to be learned that is let us see how long the video now okay 30 minutes video so this is the demonstration you can see here and let us see the output of this now so this is okay. so by using this and now I will demonstrate one more thing that is the external which we call by using the reference so the linking the external sheet so external style sheet this is another extension that is now you understand this so if we apply this is inline and this is internal or embedded okay this is here this is from this section so to this section style from here to here applied for table so same we can change the paragraph style also for heading style also okay so this is the way like you can use here h Let us see the output. See now under heading, these are appearance and everything is same. Here you can see that a style font family Arial, font small, color red. So no difference. If we remove this, then what will happen? H six, then. See, if we remove this entire segment and then see the output, this is simple H6 output. If we use H1, see the output. See here, okay, and if we changing this h1 can be changed if h1 is style copy here then the style font family h1 now h1 how the h1 change see now the h1 tag is not giving its own property it is giving the style applied by the user so this is the difference now you can see now h1 changed this is changed now so how it's changing see here so this is the use of style and if we change here single time then the entire this thing entire table and wherever we use this table tag the effect will come so let us see here new this is the demonstration of the external so one more extension I am introducing here that is dot CSS extension so let us create here a CSS file by using this only style to be saved here like writing property of the body and this is the selector and then property and value only two things need to be written here one is selector so body how the body to be simply body what effect curvy bracket background so help we will get if we save the file as its own type like I am saving the file as we are creating here not HTML document now I am creating here CSS file so need to be given the name first that is demo one kis cheez ke liye hai ye to show 
the CSS. Demo one CSS dot CSS. Okay. If we written here dot CSS extension, then click on save. See. Now the Notepad plus plus understood that the file we are going to create that is an CSS file. How? When we assigned dot CSS. So don't forget as earlier for these file we were assigning dot HTML. You can see here dot HTML. Okay dot HTML. Now one more extension introduced that is dot CSS at the time of saving the file. So put a colon sign here. C Y A N. See and this is value background. Oh, not yet written properly. B A C K G R O U background. See and then semicolon here. Margin top. Top margin. 20 margin top Se select here margin bottom left right top okay so here you can see margin top 20 margin top 20 so curvy bracket close this property we have assigned for body so entire text to be written in any HTML by calling this demo one CSS file, then background will be cyan and margin top will be 20. So heading one, how heading one will be appear? So H1, no need to put here the code sign and curvy bracket, font weight, see here, font weight font weight colon bold okay then semicolon text text align text align center you will get a lot of help color red color colon red colon red and these are separated by using this sense semicolon okay font family change then red and again semicolon and somewhere comma is there font family font family colon select the font family from here or any other text so here you can select any of the font suppose this copy black so copy and then right here font family this and then semicolon Yes, if we are defining here, if this font is not available, then another font can be used. If this font, copper black, is not available, then the second one. So many fonts are here. So you can select any font, copy. If this is not available, then one choice to another choice can be separated by using this comma two and then comma again not semicolon if we write here semicolon then the property will change means we are then we are talking about other property so write a comma here so select another font if this font is not available then because we are talking about developing a website so these are the three font choice we have given so curvy bracket close h1 property set so h2 so p if we about p paragraph tag so then curvy bracket start margin top margin top 
then margin top margin dash top top margin margin top colon four then semicolon margin bottom four margin bottom four curly bracket close so as for p now next td if we insert any table data then how the table data so if we write here td the padding One, three, two, three. One point colon one pt three pt two pt and then again three point. semicolon border style solid border style border style border bottom style border style border style solid semicolon border width 1 border width border width one curly bracket close so these are the padding the cell padding ki baat karte hai. one two three two and three respectively so wherever we use this table and table property table property how the table wherever we call this table tag then border style solid border style Select here border style. Okay, sir. Solid. Semicolon. Border width three. Border width. Border width three. Semicolon. Border color white. Border color white okay so font size 10 pt semicolon font size 10 pt text align justify text align justify so curly bracket close see Whenever we use this, these this is the style sheet we created. Okay, so no need to close, no need to start, no need to write. So body, this H1 is this, P is this, TD. So wherever we call these tag, then this and where whenever we call this demo1.csc. So create one HTML file again create file new so this is HTML somewhere need to be closed and save first file click on save and then demo 3 external style CSS ठीक है external style sheet है CSS को call कर रहे हैं and this is HTML file name must be relevant so, कुछ meaning निकलना चाहिए so save this is HTML file by hovering over the 
tab here you can see what name assigned this is CSS file then these are so now how we can call this by using hyperlink reference href we are not using here anchor tag but only href within the head section so HTML so create here head and here in the head section title title is external style external style means this is the demo to title ko ban kar denge so title closed here then link this is important because we are linking here what the link type is what type of link is this equal to that is text oblique css text oblique text oblique css to tell the browser that this is the link type means for what purpose we are using this link to call a text or css style sys and relation kis se karna hai style sheet se style sheet style style sheet okay style sheet h ref equal to this file name demo one css so click here and copy the file name here you cannot from here you cannot copy so go to the explorer see here demo one css this is the cascading style sheet you can see the demo here cascading style sheet document so here click on property and then copy the file name here demo1.css this is file name and type that is .css okay see here you can see cascading style sheet document css here okay now cancel come here okay and here html href equal to this is the file name demo1css dot css extension close this close tag link tag and these are the value type text oblique css relation style sheet and href demo dot css and here link ho gaya and then close the head section here link created so head now closed let us see now use this link inside the head tag the use link external style sheet to a web page now here we have linked external style sheet to the page here okay this link need to be closed i think let us see then you start body section here and body section if we use this h1 because you can see here we defined for h1 h1 font weight bold text align center color red font family in this se koi bhi font aa jayega so see here h1 called here using external style sheet demo to use external style sheet here h1 need to be closed and body close okay. 
see the output of this external style sheet output let us run the file see here demo 1 demo external style sheet this is demo 3 external style sheet see here demo 2 external style sheet this is ch1 same folder now think here the entire path href means the entire path to be given in spite of that these are in the same folder why this is calling this demo one dot css okay no problem so copy the property from here see properties C drive users HTML documents. Copy. Come here in the CSS file. And that is href. This is the entire path. So documents and then inside demo one CSS dot CSS. Let us see. type text public css style sheet href equal to sample css head close ho gaya head close ho gaya then body section yahan par it is the link type the css css go to this one one font weight mold text align center color red font family is not working so just wait if we write here h1 <coughs> it's not linking let us see it's not working rel equal to style sheet जरा भी अगर कहीं पर स्पेलिंग में भी गलती होगी तो ये नहीं चलेगा लिंक टाइप इक्वल टू टेक्स्ट ऑब्लिक सी एस एस बट दिस इज द वे आई थिंक दिस इज नॉट सपोर्टिंग दिस सो होल पाथ इज गिवन शरीफ इक्वल टू सिंपल डॉट सी एस एस डॉट सी एस एस क्रिएटेड so here why it is not applying href equal to c drive head body okay no problem i will demonstrate in the next day okay <coughs> so now so lengthy 54 minute video so we will discuss in the next session but this is the way only means this is the procedure i think somewhere we are making some mistake HTML close, everything is okay. So, why the appropriate output is not coming according to this? If we use P, let us see if we use here P tag.
then this is heading one same css is not working demo one css demo one css dot css this is the way to call on them So I will see this later on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.